All right, we ready? Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to do it. Just go. Wait, actually, you have a little speck, right? Yeah, you have a little bit of mascara on your lip. Oh, that was a there mascara. That was actually food. Oh, you're welcome. All right, go ahead. Yeah, I think I'm clean, right? Can we make this the start of the podcast? Will you just make this the start of everything? I know, clean. <laughs> and I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to it. A- That's not how we start. How are you going to start? I'm going to start. All right. Well, I was just getting into it because you were sitting there oh, checking your face. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Hey Man. I'm Josh. I'm Jacob. Hey, man. Hey, man. What's up? <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> you were trying to change the way we start. You were trying to pick something off your face that you got on the first swipe. Yeah, but then sometimes, you know what's weird? Sometimes... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I get really caught up in how how big my mouth is and how weird it changes. Like I can change the way. For those of you watching, I'm so excited <laughs> for you to see what this is. I just I sometimes I really sometimes I'll just catch myself You're obsessed like in the mirror really and I'll be like, How weird can I make my face look? And I do that for probably longer than I should. You've already done it for longer than you should have. <laughs> <laughs> it, went on, it, it went on for way too long already really? today. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't You're really not even st- looking in the mirror. You're just staring at the While I'm it. staring at the, can, the screen. It, it, are you saying it wasn't as interesting to you as it was to me? Yeah. <laughs> not even a little bit. <laughs> like, for real? Uh, for real. You've never done that? Not once. You've never seen what But also my mouth isn't as big as yours. Mine's massive. Yours but is also not. when I open my mouth really wide, mine like I've had a pop in my jaw, so I try not to do that a lot. I used then again, to I do it when I eat. Be so. able to put my fist in my mouth mm. when I trained. Well hold on, pause. <laughs> <laughs> What I what, mean, trained. What were like, you? What were you training with? I, what I mean, trained. I, you know, other listen, people's fists. No, like you know, with my fist. Well, you, right, but did you progress from like a smaller fist no, to a I bigger a, fist? I got up for the size of my face, a pretty good fist, right? And so that's what she said. What is it? Is it? <laughs> it sounded like it was. Yeah, no, that doesn't. So, but I like I when I mean trained, like you know, I like parlor tricks, right? Like I can tuck my ears into my head. Mm-hmm. And you tie chest with your tongue. Yeah. Uh, I used to be able to crack my jaw the way you crack your neck. Oof. And, but also one of the things that I used to be able to do. That's gross. Is stick my fist in my mouth. And so, you know, my, my constant need for y- people to pay, a te- the, my past constant need for people to constantly pay attention to me. Man, I need to have a bunch of parlor tricks in order to be like, oh, you didn't like the ear tuck? Well, watch me shove my fist in my mouth. You're like a circus People monkey. People were like, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? You're like a circus monkey. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, is yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. I would, but listen, dude, nobody, very few people get into stand-up because they feel good about themselves. We I, talked I, about that this weekend. Yeah, I had a giant, <clears throat> somewhere for some reason, I had a giant attention hole. That's what she said. <laughs> and um, <laughs> And I needed... I needed it filled. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't I don't have that. Eh, I mean, I still have some of it or else I wouldn't be on Doing stage. Doing stand-up comedy. Yeah, yeah. I still have some of it, but I don't think it's the attention. It, it's it's. I don't think it's attention anymore. No. I think it's just you like making people laugh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's attention think anymore because the truth of the matter is when I'm at, when I'm out, I'm, I'm happy when people come up to me and, and ask for pictures and say hello. Hey, but in the past, I would have looked for it. Right. And I, I don't look for it now. Right. You know? Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's a, that's nice progression though. Where, where are you at? You, do you, I mean, I know, look, dude, there are many times in airports where you, people recognize you before they recognize me. That hasn't happened yet. It happened in the Disney store this week. Yeah. But the dude didn't even come up to me. The fact that he noticed me and then was like, well, Josh has got to be here somewhere. And then went and said hello to you and not me. Doesn't really count as him recognizing me first well he did he said like, i saw yeah, your son i mean technically he did but like in the sense that we're talking he would come up and say hey how are you and then his follow-up question would have been is your dad with you and then right. i probably would have been right. like absolutely right. he's right, right there and then throwing you under the bus how fucking hot was it 
at Disney Springs. You know, Florida, what the fuck? Like, it was hot. It was it was just overly hot in Florida. Period. Yeah, it it was the it, the humidity was really like a an aggressive fuck you. Yeah, it was it was like oppressing. Yeah, it was it was a lot. It was a lot. I, I don't get how you people in Florida how people live in Florida. Oppressive. That's what that's what you. I, I took that from you. You said that this weekend. You said oppressing, oppressive. Oh, oppressive. Right? Isn't that know. the right tense? Yeah, oppressive. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the English lesson. I mean, um, we do that to each other on here. 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah and just, because I wouldn't want you to keep repeating it over and over again if it wasn't... Right, 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 right. No, and I take that. That's very nice of you. But also, you know, I like to throw in a little snarky comment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's also what yeah, we do here. I, I didn't I didn't say it like this. Oppressive, bro. Yeah. It's oppressive. Yeah, yeah. That's oh. how I took it, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how I heard it, actually. <laughs> uh, Is it? Yeah, yeah kind of. <laughs> Yeah, I get it, uh, man. I get it. Anytime it's so it, people are, it, it's very interesting. Anytime someone feels like they're being corrected, yeah. it takes a very specific person not to take that. And it's also mainly just because of the relationship we have, like, like I know you're not doing it to make fun of me or bag me, bag yeah, on me yeah, at any yeah. point, but we just do it to each other a lot. So all I, so when I know you're trying to have a teaching moment or even you're trying to figure out for yourself. I just still hear it as you going, Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's oppressive. Oh bro. yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, the truth of the matter is I'm just trying to do it. So we're both educated. Yeah, man. I don't want to be no, no, no. like, if, if I was saying something incorrectly, <clears throat> I wouldn't want to be walking, you know, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Like your, your mom like, used to say that point is mook. And I let her say it for a while <laughs> because it was funny. Yeah. But finally I had to tell her, Hey, it's moot. Yeah. She was like, "Right?" I go, "It's don't you shouldn't say that place is mook." Yeah, that point is mook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not mook. Can't say that. No. Uh, um, but, well, th I have something different. Like my girlfriend Amon, she'll. This is a hill she'll die on. She doesn't say sword. She says sword. Yeah, that's incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> and I love her so much. And every time she says it, I just laugh. She goes, "What?" I'm just saying sword. And I'm like, yeah. "No, you're you're saying something else that's not sword, and it's yeah. sword, and I don't like it." And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's sword. it's more funny than frustrating. It sounds like the past tense of s sword. No, it doesn't sound like anything. No, because I swore. It but just, if I, I swear I swore. Now it's closer than a swore a sword. Or he, yeah, yeah. He yes. swore at me. He swore. At me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right? exactly what right? it is. He yeah. swore at me. Yeah, babe, I love you. I'm not making fun of you. I no, just uh, no, no. I just fucking hate the way you say sword. Can I tell you that this, this girl though. I used to date in college. It, it very smart woman used to say salmon. Ugh. And I was I like, that hey, there is no, the, the L is silent. She was like, but not really. I'm like, no, but a hundred percent. But, but really. Yeah. But the salmon is not a, but she used to make Sal these. Sal is a man who sells used cars down the street. That's like, right. That's right. <laughs> like Sal man. No, there's no. And Fat Sal's has a great sandwich. Oh my God. I wish that was here in but, Vegas. But I will tell and you this dude. It needs to happen. Fat sales come to Vegas. Uh, fat sales on the strip would kill. Crush. Oh my! Sorry, so it would Taco put a lot Cabana. Of, by the way, it would put a lot of stress on your staff, but you would make so much money. I don't understand why sorry. Taco Cabana Tangent. hasn't made its way out of oh, Texas. Dude, Taco I Cabana would, would shit would, in Taco Bell's <laughs> mouth. I would kill for that queso any night I could have it. I wonder if it's going to be in Corpus Christi this year. It has to be. So I'm I, on a I'm on a water diet for the next couple of days to flush out whatever the hell is in my system. Yeah. Um, because it was it was a rough evening, night, morning, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah. But it was it was it was bad. It was, you know, it was so bad. Look, I love Wingstop. Wingstop is awesome. Okay. Yeah. This never happened to me before. I purposely chose not to get anything spicy. I usually get mango habanero, and that's like fourth spiciest on the list. It just tastes so fucking good. And I decided to get chicken tenders. And when I say chicken tenders, I mean boneless wings, because Boneless they're, wings are chicken, chicken tenders. They're chicken tenders. Yeah, I yeah. wanted a flavor chicken tender. I didn't want to work for the bone for the night. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to accept that. But I'm not going to call it a boneless wing because it's a fucking chicken. There's tender. no such thing as a boneless wing. No, a wing okay. is a wing. Okay, yeah, yeah. cool. So, uh, and I purposely didn't get something spicy because I was like, I would rather not fuck up my stomach for the next day. And it was so bad to a point to where like I felt like I was going to throw up, but it wasn't that. It was all just stomach. But it was bad to where like, you know when you burp from the night before and you're still mm. tasting it? I was like, if that doesn't make me want to throw up, I don't know what's gonna. Like yeah. it was it was bad. It was bad. So it's been it's been a rough morning. I am I smoked a little weed to keep my stomach under control because 
it really is the only thing that is immediate. Yeah. I, I'll put it over everything. Any, weed, I agree with you. Weed I do the same stomach, thing. anything stomach, weed is, it has, there's nothing that tops it. No, I agree. Pepto takes 40 minutes and it tastes terrible. But also, but like, I would even say, Jacob Wolf, that, and people are going to, whatever, weed is 100% natural and Pepto is not ke- chemicals yeah. that you're putting in your body. And so I'm going 100% natural all yeah. day. And so just, just quick, smoke right as it right as i exhale my stomach feels better like people yeah. are like that you're lying i'm not i promise you like you ever have a stomach ache or anything your stomach's a little queasy you feel a little nauseous yeah T- light a joint take four puffs and tell me you don't immediately right. feel better dude it is it's it is it's look as much as i use weed recreationally because i'd rather smoke than drink or do anything else i mean mushrooms and acid obviously but like smoking weed <laughs> way more <laughs> is that obvious yeah, we've talked about it <laughs> yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. it is. Me and you have. Oh, yeah, hundred yeah, yeah, yeah. percent. I'm talking about like for for me personally. Right. Weed is also just way more accessible, so it's just yeah. easier for me to get. So, but not not only am I using it recreationally, but anything I can use it for medicinally as well. I am like headaches, can't sleep, stomach ache, pain, and anywhere. Like it's pretty much just. Well, it's, buddy, it's just immediate Advil. I love it. There's it's, a reason that. Cancer patients use it for their nausea. Oh no! Like it's not and fatigue. Yeah, and all. No, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Dude, trust me. Uh, you know me. I'm more, I've been a, an advocate for weed since how old? You know that. Yeah, always, yeah, yeah. always. And so I, I just think it's outstanding because yeah. right now I'm not even thinking about what what stomach. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. awesome. Let's go I get some it. wings. No, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely um, not. Couple things. Not, it's not like a hangover where you, the more thing you no. need is more more wings. No, 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 no. A couple things I want to say real quick before we get started. First of all... Before we get started, we've already been going for 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how that goes with us. <laughs> um, first of all, Jacksonville and Orlando, which is where we were this past weekend. Yeah. Yo, showed up and showed the fuck out. Yo, well, you, it sold you, didn't out of, co- you didn't come home with a single piece of merch. Sold out every piece of merch. I'll tell you something else. The, um, the meet and greet lines... And and thank you guys so much. Some of them were an hour and a half long. Yeah, I appreciate you guys waiting in those long lines. Um, uh, but I'm there. I'm there for every one of you yeah. who wants to come and say something and talk to talk. Um, I, I do want to. I do want to. I, I want to say two things about the shows this weekend, and then you. Wait, one in. more thing. Also, yeah. appreciation for the people who have to wait through the meet and greet lines to just get into the venue to then see us for the next show because we have you guys wait out there for extra long, and we also appreciate you for, for yeah. fucking sticking it out. Yeah, yeah. But 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 people, <clears throat> what I like is people at the end of the line, even after an hour and a half, um, you guys are coming up with crazy energy and enthusiasm, and I'm super grateful. <laughs> Lots of gratitude for all of you. Who come out to the shows and um and really just continue to fill fill that place with like yeah. go- goodness. Yeah. A couple things I want to say and then I want to hear what you have to say. First of all, Friday night's mushroom show in Orlando. Not only was that far and away the best mushroom show, I would say this: those four shows in Orlando were the best four shows I've ever done in my life, back to back to back to back. Uh, for, for a myriad of reasons, they were all, everyone was different. Yep. Meaning I did different material, not four different hours of material, but it but was like, a di- but, mix and match. Well, the Friday night shows were completely different hours. Right. But, but, um, but that just the flow and the um, energy and the, but the Friday Night Mushroom Show, dude, was exactly what I want that to be. Right. So I, I hope I have found the right dose. And if you guys want to come out to a loose, fun, mm-hmm. I will say I'm a little snarkier on the mushrooms. Yeah. I'm yeah, a, yeah, I'm, absolutely. I'm, I'm a little... It's not even snarkier. It's just like you already don't have, like you already are a comic, so you don't have much of a filter. Yeah. But when you get up on stage, obviously you're not going to just let it fly fucking willy-nilly until enough shit happens. When the mushrooms hit, the filter is gone. Yeah. Like that fourth wall is yeah. no longer there. So if someone says something that you think is stupid, you're like, dude, what? Why are you opening your mouth? Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh, good Lord. Um, Sometimes I'm like, I just can't even stop them. I'm just going to let them rip into people. It's oh, kind of fun. I can't wait. And it's not rip into people, no, but not. it's like, I, it, but it's, there's just, and, and everybody loves it because it's not in a, in a snarky way, but that, that fourth wall of, of comic to audience is gone. I, I, it, when I say snow, I'm not an asshole to people and no, I'm no, laughing no. the whole time I'm saying shit, yeah. but, but, um, but the Friday night show, I, I also want to address the, 
look, man, there's a lot of crowd work in uh, social media now. And mm -hmm. I post it too. And I think that gives people the sense that they should just come to shows and shout shit out. And I'll tell you something, man, you want to shout something out. It's up to your own discretion and peril mm -hmm. because Pe peril mostly we had for, let's go Jacksonville. And we're not going to talk about the person themselves who waited at the end of the line to, Oh Jesus. But yo, I, I will tell you and ask anybody in a comedy club, there are so many times somebody gets kicked out and she didn't get kicked out, but she definitely get talked to by me. Oh yeah. She talked through your set. She talked through Sandy's set. Mm -hmm. She said something at the beginning of my set. And I just told her, yeah, I don't need you to explain my jokes. to oh, me. Right. I remember. And I wasn't yeah, yeah. outwardly rude. No, no, no. You but were just, I, but I did say to her, I said, I, I, you talked through the, my son's set. You talked through Sandy's set. You're not going to talk through my set. And, and she didn't, not only did she not speak for the rest of the show, she didn't laugh. She arms folded, head down the whole show. <sighs> it's so amazing to me that grown humans get so butthurt and embarrassed for being spoken to like a grown up that they decide to sulk for the entire show because they think other, look, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody's looking at you. It's no. over for everybody else except for you. But the fact that you can't be a grown up about it is shocking to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. It's also like, look, look. I say this to a lot of people. You pay to go to this show. You are paying to watch the person on stage do their fucking job. Yeah. What's your job for the night? Is to sit in the audience and laugh at the jokes that you think are funny. You like it's it's almost like people come with a certain level of disrespect to comedy shows because and it's not even disrespect yeah, because it's not disrespect it, she was trying to have a good time yeah. it's just Here's there what needs say, to be a different level though of respect for those on stage and while they're performing and, and to be fair to the people in the audience they see a lot of crowd work on social media and even on mine like i said but i would tell you there's a difference and i say this all the time if if it's about you and i having a conversation and we're bantering I, look man it's part of being a stand up and if it gets to be too much for the rest of the audience, I'll just say, hey, that was a lot of fun, but we got to move on. Right. 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 If you're talking at your table to other people very loudly and you're ruining or disturbing other people's show, I have zero tolerance for that. 100%. If you're being disruptive or douchey to me, right, which that dude in Orlando was, so we'll get to him. I am which dude in Orlando? the dude who ended up walking. Did you walk somebody in Orlando? The okay. Okay. Yo, dude. Did I miss that? So, so <clears throat> if you're douchey and you're trying to be funny and I'm a little har sharper with you, like with some people that we're going to go back and forth, I, you know, part of my, what I like to do is have a conversation with the crowd. Right. I want it to feel like a conversation, mm -hmm. right? So every now and then we're going to have a conversation with somebody in the crowd. But if you're going to say something douchey, if you're going to try to be the comic, I'm going to wreck you. And, and so, yeah. so this dude, you don't remember this dude? Oh, oh, oh the next to the he, next to the birthday girl. Yeah, next to the girl who said, "Hey, it's this my friend's birthday. Will you shout her out?" And you were like, "No, no." The guy next to her right, kept no, but trying it was, to it be was the same at that table. Yeah, yeah, yo, I remember. This dude kept trying to be funny, man. And um, during the Q and A, I knew because I had shut him down at the beginning of the show because he had screamed something out douchey. So I had said something to him that was definitely more point pointed than I had said to anybody else. Right, right, right. Because everybody else, we were just having fun back and forth. But this dude thought he was going to be funny. He was not. So I said something to him. He, he was quiet for the rest of the show. We do our Q&A. Right. He raises his hand, and I knew he was going to say something douchey. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Yeah, let's, let's get into it with this guy. Mm -hmm. And he said something to me. He goes, I'm trying to figure something out about your outfit. You're wearing jeans. You're wearing a, t a Wrangler t-shirt. A trucker hat. You were in a trucker hat and Jordans. He was like, I don't understand your outfit. And I was like, you're wearing the last shirt they sold at Structure, bro. The very last shirt. Are you are you telling me right now? And so I went in on him a little bit. He got up and walked out. Oh, I didn't see him walk out. He, he brought the whole table with him. But my point, and I spoke to him on the way out. I was like, you, you're you going to be a fucking, you, you can be enough of a fucking grown up to say something douchey to me. But not enough of a grown-up to take what to I'm going to say it. back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, here's it, another... Can I just yeah, say yeah, one yeah. Because the guy, the guy later who asked, 
in our Q&A if I had ever regretted not pulling out. Mm-hmm. And I said something douchey back to him and he laughed. He understood the assignment. Yeah. The assignment, which is, I'm going to say something douchey. You say something douchey. We both laugh. Yeah, 100%. But this dude, it, it baffles me. Yeah, I, I just don't understand also people who yell out during a show get a, not get the response they want back and That's think that think that they're not in the wrong. Like, you have to be able to know what's coming next if you're yelling out at a live show. If you're yeah. interrupting somebody on stage in the middle of what they're doing, what they say that comes next is not their fault. It's yours. By the way, you don't get to choose people's reactions. And this is in life in general. I've told you this a zillion times in yep. your life. You can say whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You don't get to choose what comes next. Right. Other people's reactions aren't uh, up to you. No, 100%. And so, like, you, to be offended by somebody else's reaction to you, what you say douchey is crazy. I have a microphone. <coughs> I'm probably going to All these win. other people, including you, paid to come watch the person with the microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was an interesting weekend. But, uh, by the way, a great one. I think I'm going to release that mushroom show on its own. Okay. Um, just to see how that gets down. But yeah. th- but what a great, and Jacksonville was amazing, two yeah. sold out shows. Orlando packed that place out. The energy there was bananas. Possibly my favorite set ever so far, Saturday night, late night. You crushed. Saturday night late, I think was my favorite. I didn't realize until I went back and looked at some tape, you're doing like 17 minutes. Dude. Yeah, I'm doing some time, dude. I'm doing 17 some, I'm, minutes. I'm doing some time. It's nuts. That means that Halloween story has to be at least eight minutes. I think it's 10. I think it's 10 because once you told me to start slowing down, I've really taken my time with that story and finding different ways to digress. Sometimes though, I don't do the, I don't do the, the side stories of the, the, the water park and amusement park. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And without saying too much, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Yeah. Like I, sometimes I don't do that. So it makes it shorter, but also for what we've done to that first story, it used to be two minutes. Now it's probably f- five or seven. Yeah, I got some idea. We could bump it up plus, a little more. Plus the little joke I do before that's got to be three. Yeah, yeah. So like with everything that comes in, sometimes somebody says something, we say what's up. The intro that I do, I'm, I had a feeling I was close to 20. It's pretty crazy, dude. I got asked to... to I know, man. So I got asked while I was in Florida, someone who works at the uh, improv that we were at, um, says he runs another show at a different comedy club about an hour away from Orlando. And he was like, if I set it up, it'll be a little further down the line, but I can pay you a couple hundred bucks. We'll fly out here, fly in and on like a, a Thursday morning. You perform Thursday night, fly out Friday morning. And I was like, sure. That sounds cool. Yeah. Because then it's not, and it's only 15 minutes. Yeah. I'm with that. Listen, man. I get the flight and I get paid. I, I it sounds it, like exposure. It sounds like something to try. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Listen, you can also, I can find you some spots here in Vegas too. I know. I don't know when this one's coming. He said further down the line. So I have some more time also to still perfect okay. my, what I can call probably 20 minutes almost. Yeah, man. It's like, nuts. Five months in, I have 20. Well, I mean, look, I've had a lot of help. It, it's and, not that uh, you had a lot of help, but like it's 20, but that we have to make sure that that 20 works. That, that 17 could be a real tight and really funny 14. Dude. Do you know what I'm saying? 12. 12? Yeah. Yeah. You could cut some fat. Okay. It, it, but I also want it to be funny in front of everyone, not just in front of people who know you and I. Right. Which I did. Somebody told me uh, after the Saturday Night Late Show that she had no idea yeah. who either of us were, and she said that we were both super funny. So that yeah. also gives me some confidence. But hey, yo, end of this month, starting of September, August 31st, f- September 1st, 2nd, 3rd. In Vegas. In Vegas. Come see us if you're out here. Oh, man. Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend. Jelly Roll's here that Friday. Oh, is he? Are we going to see him? Uh, his show starts at seven, man. Is he just here for one night? I think so. Mm. I'm going to reach out, but. Yeah, see what he's doing after the show. We can just pop over and say what's up. Yeah, I don't know if they, what their deal is. If they, if they'll stay in Vegas and then head out the next morning. Vegas, or, or they'll just stay up for a little bit and then like stay in Vegas. Vegas seems like the, is like the kind of place where. Acts like that might basically hang out till two, three in the morning, hop, and then on, the hop bus on the bus and, and drive out and drive out and sleep. Yeah, yeah. Which, by the way, is valid. It's totally. But yeah, look, I still haven't gotten to meet. I still haven't met Jelly. So. You haven't? 
No, because he was supposed to be at the Bonanza and he wasn't feeling good that night. Right, right, and right. And that was right, the last right. chance I had to to be able to meet him. So well, dude. But I'm, he's also okay. going crazy right now. Fucking, are you kidding? It's me pretty right legit. Now. Where is he? T-Mobile. Uh, Allegiant. Not Allegiant. Not T-Mobile. MGM Arena, I think. Oh, oh, oh nice. Do you see Gaga is going to be here for a month? Oh, I have tickets to Gaga. Nice. At Park MGM, something like that? Yeah, dude. Yeah, Listen, yeah. do you know how badly... Do you know, I mean, I'm so psyched to see Gaga. I bet you are. I love Gaga. You do love Gaga. Yeah, so absolutely. much. That Gaga... I saw her Coachella. Yeah, and her one of her songs was your middle school graduation song. Absolutely, it was. I'm on... The, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's either Edge... It's not Born This Way. I think it's Edge of Glory. It was, yeah, it was... I'm on the end. Edge of Glory, yeah. I love it. <laughs> Want me to sing the whole song? No, I'm good. We Are you sure? We, we won't be able to play the rest of it. That's true. We'll get muted. Which would just be, I think, hilarious of just uh, our whole podcast muted, just watching you. It wouldn't get muted. We just couldn't monetize it. They'll let us play it. But we just can't. It won't be monetized. Yeah, we'll, we'll just... No, we don't, I don't need to sing karaoke we'll, we'll, on that. We'll just stick with they won't let us play it. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Um, let me ask you something, dude. What did you want to talk about today? I got a couple things. Um, I got a couple things as well. Um, well, oh, 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 okay. Remember that? Remember that thing I told you about on the weekend that I ordered that had a possible really huge profit, but also possibly a stinker? Yeah. It showed up today. Stinker? Stinker. However, yeah, by the way, they're which, not sending out the big one. Uh, no, but also there was- Are some, you not going to say what it is? No, I'm going to. Okay. So I have, I, there's this uh, app called Soul Steals. No, this is not an ad. No, this is not paid. This is just what I did this weekend. Um, and they have, they they like mass buy a bunch of shoes, like used or, or brand new T-shirts, collectibles, a whole bunch of shit. They're yeah. just like a streetwear resale. But they sell it for under market value on what it is like on StockX. So you get a used pair of really nice sneakers for way less than what you'd find on StockX in really good condition. So they had something that it was 100 You pay $100, and it is a mystery Travis Scott shoe. And so there were some options of Travis's that could be 100 bucks. There was an option of Travis Scott shoes that could be $1,500. So I was like, this is, I feel like, a fair gamble. Do you know what I mean? Sure, like, sure. Like this could be a profit or this could be a shoe that my girlfriend wants to wear because they only did it from size like four and a half to seven. That's why I figured like, I don't know, maybe it would be a little more... Zhuzhi? Yeah, like maybe not just give me the shittiest one. Maybe yeah, like yeah, yeah. the step up. Like I would have loved like a C tier shoe, like a Jordan 6 Travis Scott would have been awesome. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I got the bottom tier. But with that being said, uh, we're, I'm going to figure out when I'm going to do this. It'll probably come up Next week, while I'm here in town, I'm going to be giving away the shoes on my Twitch stream. Um, we're going to do like a little raffle, so it, I'll figure out rules and regulations and and terms and conditions for all that good stuff. I mean, um, are you advertising that you're giving away a shitty pair of shoes? <laughs> <laughs> it's a size six for anybody who wants it. If you want a Travis Scott trainer too, I give it to you for free. Well, not for free, but yeah, you know I, what I mean. It's kind of free. Yeah, get, they can win it. Absolutely. All they got to do is subscribe to your channel, right? Well, the subscription is is uh, like a minimum of like five ninety nine. So I think I'm gonna do like if you donate a dollar to the chat or donate a dollar to the stream, you're automatically entered. Every dollar donated or spent on a subscription, I'll enter your name that many more times. I think is what I'm gonna do. So All it's right. like incentive for people to do more, but also if you want to do the bare minimum and just and donate a dollar, you can do and that. And if as well. they sub, do they get their name entered five times? Six. Because it's five ninety nine. So I'll round it to six and I'll put your name in six times. Fuck yeah, that's pretty yeah. awesome. So that's what we're gonna do. Um I think it'll be fun, uh, like a fun way to do a giveaway. Um so if you want a really good pair of shoes <laughs> in a size men's six. Men six? Men six. Head over to twitch.tv slash youthful wolf. Drop a follow. You must be following to enter the giveaway when we start this. So as long as you're following, we're all good. Um how's that stream going? Did I ask you that already? Yeah, before before we hopped on oh, okay. here. It, it's been going good, man. Like um Monday, Monday started off hot. We were had like 15 people chilling with us for like 45 minutes. And then my pretty much my biggest piece, not biggest piece, but most important piece of equipment that is like makes it able for me to stream, yeah, just shut off. Half like 40 minutes in. So I had to I had to like end stream and re-upload it and like figure out like just like fix it. It was literally just like a unplug it. <laughs> Back well, you did the old Nintendo? Oh, it's very, it's it's viable today, by the way. It's the still, Nintendo, the old, is it viable? Oh, yeah. Really? HDMI cords, fucking outlets. Oh, uh, I love them. Especially like USBs, like to put them back. Yeah, 100%. Dude, why don't you tell everybody about your Moki Mookie? 
Yeah, we're, well, that's on my list too. We're going to get to that. Oh, okay. But so yeah, my whole thing just kind of crashed and then I got it restarted and then three people decided to just chill with us. And I was yeah, like, man. yeah, that's all right. You know what? Shout out to those three people. Shout out West. West is pretty much like holds my chat down. When there's nobody there, West Fuck is yeah. the only one there. Um, Moki, for those of you who are listening and have no idea what he's talking about, my girlfriend and I, Yvonne, uh, we went and fought, did a foster day trip with a dog from the Nevada SPCA. His name is Moki. He's a nine-year-old brown pit bull. He is, uh, there's not a mean bone in this dude's body. Uh, you know what I miss so much from the pit, from the pit bulls is the, is the nibbles when they give kiss, like the little yeah, affectionate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite. I love that. It's a big sound of affection for them, which is what I really love. But this dude, he's very handsome. He's got gray in his face already. He's nine, but he was sprinting with me. We, he's got great energy. He's in great shape. But so we originally wanted to take him to Mount Charleston, which is about an hour north of where we are. Yeah. Um, Cause it's right now 75 degrees out Pretty there. crazy. An hour from us. It is a 40 degree difference. Yeah. 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 But that's a, that's a large that's a difference. a lot, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Yeah. It's that's, a that's a lot. Large difference. Okay, cool. Just so you know. Yep. It's a lot. Right. It's just like an hour there, an hour walk, an hour back. That's but so I looked sauce. I looked for a trail and I said most dog friendly trail where you won't find a lot of people. But so it was also like a campsite, but also we drove the whole thing and it was getting rocky. And I was like, I don't really want to drive my little shitty Toyota Corolla. Not shitty, but little tiny tin can Toyota Corolla through all this because Sure. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not meant it's, for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we turned around and I asked a couple people on the trail. I go, yo, is this the trail? Like, they're like, yeah, a bunch of rocks are placed further up ahead so you can't drive anymore. So it's like about, about a quarter mile up. And I was like, so should I just turn around? He goes, it's going to get worse from here. And I was like, I will follow you out. Yeah. So we left and then we just ended up going to a park on the way back and we just ran him around and we hung out with him. Dude is slobbery. Are you? But is super cute. Because you have a little dude at home. Right. But he does best with little dogs. Moki does. Moki does. Moki does best with little dogs. He does not like big dogs because he was attacked by one. So so he and Big Booty Judy are not going to get along. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, it's okay. He's not. And also, Big Booty doesn't really like big dogs either. Nah. But he, I bet you if like... Yo, he, dude. Uh, so did I tell you we found a dog? Did I tell you that? Define found a dog. Like just found a wandering dog? Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. elaborate. Okay. We're leaving our house... And um, we just see this d dog just walking around the street. And I said, your mom, I got, I got to stop. And we got to see what the deal is, you know? Yeah. And so I stopped the car and I go, hey, I get out of the car and I go, ee, mealy, mealy. No, I didn't. But, <laughs> but I said, I go, <laughs> I go, hey, come here. You know, whatever I did. And the dog was super cool and ran right over and then laid on her back and showed me her belly and peed all over the me and the place and pee, pee, peed. And so, but Indiana has never seen me touch another dog. Oh, no. He was in the car losing his fucking oh mind. Oh, my God. Do you scratch up your new interior? We got that plastic down. Ooh, nice. Well done. Yeah, but he was. Did mom film it? No, she Ooh. was trying to keep him under control. Nah, you got to let him freak out and film it. Dude, he was losing. Because you know him. When he freaks out, there's no control of him. Like when he. When he goes into a tantrum, he's gone. I've never, yo, when I get, before I get him on the treadmill yesterday, he was so excited to get on the treadmill. He was, it was the craziest I've ever seen him. Ah! Yeah, dude, he was going, he was screaming at me while he was on the treadmill and I was trying ah! to hook him up. Yeah. But he, it wasn't even a bark. It was, Rah! yeah, it's a yell. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he it's was funny. fucking going crazy. It's pretty funny. He hit 30 miles an hour on that trip. Now, by the way, guys, we don't. We don't set the treadmill to 30 miles an hour. No, it's, it's powered by him. Powered by him. So he he runs when he wants. He stops when he wants. He hit 30 miles an hour. Nuts. But so this little guy, that's pretty nuts. Like, wait, so what kind of dog? He was like a... Um, Big dog, small dog? He was like a her, like a bigger herding dog. Not like a small herding dog, but had like... It was a, definitely a mixed breed, but definitely had a long tail. Like had some shepherd, shepherd had collie. Some, had some herd in there. Okay. And the, we... It was so interesting. Ooh, did you she, did you find the aunt? Yeah, she let me put her on leash. I walked her. We, she was so friendly on the walk, smelling things. And I was gonna. And she had a caller at a one eight hundred number. So you call one eight hundred. Yeah, you call and they go. Yeah, this is the blah blah. And I go. I found a dog. And they said, "What's the ID number?" And I tell her the ID number. And they said, "We're gonna text." They had five numbers attached, and so they text all five numbers. It's five different people to let them know that the dog has been found. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Is it like a microchip thing? 
it's not it's because it's just a collar. Right, right. But is the it, number on there because they have a microchip from this specific company? I don't know if microchip. I mean, I'm sure they just tapped the number in that I said. And the woman lived right up the block from me, but her dog, even friendly, would have gotten my car, although Indiana would have gone crazy. There would have been blood in her car. But but wouldn't go in the backyard. Suspicious. I think she was like, I smell so much of this other large animal back here. Or maybe she was like, I don't belong to you. Oh, 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 like the dog would be in your house, was, was in your house, but wouldn't go in the backyard. Wouldn't go in the backyard. God. Wouldn't go in the backyard. It's very interesting. Interesting. But, but, uh, but yeah, we found and, and, um, that's nuts. Yeah, it was, but you returned a dog. Well done. Thanks, dude. Fuck yeah. Uh, but yeah, look, Loki, we're going to go back on Monday and bring our little fella and see if there's some sort of anything. But this dog, like, I remember, uh, Iman was like, yeah, I'll come, I'll come sit in the front with you for the drive back from the park. And I was like, okay. And then I literally was pulling out of the parking spot. She goes, eh, he looks so lonely back there. And she just got out of the car and got in the back seat. And I was like, all right, cool. But he fell asleep in the back with his head on her lap. He's so good in the car. He's calm. He likes to stick his little head out the window. Oh, like he is a super, super, super. Hold on. I think I have a photo of me and him already. He's, he's such a good little buddy. You sent me a picture of him. I sent you a video. I did. Yeah. I Man, you know, I, uh, come on, dude. Yeah. He's I, a Nevada SPCA. There's also so many other good dogs. So back off for like a week or two before I can figure out whether or not I can have him. Um, can I tell you for real, <clears throat> for real, for real, if I could, if your mom was okay with it, I would get like four dogs. Oh, us too. I, I would for I, us. It's not even if we're okay with it. It's more just if Milo's okay with it. I think the next time if we're in the dog looking business, we're probably going to get two at one time. Get a bonded pair, huh? Get a bonded pair. So a pair that comes into the shelter as like brother sister, and they're usually they're one small and one's big, so mom can have like a little like wah, and you can have a big like fucking like a lot of pit bulls and chihuahuas are bonded pairs. That's what we want to get next to. Really? Yeah, they are. Why? People just like big and little dogs. I, would, I, my goal and my dream is to have a little dog that jumps over the big dog, like in that cartoon, or when, when they're jump, walking. It's got to be a the, chihuahua. The big dog walks straight, and the little dog jumps over his yeah, back. Yeah, it's, it's got to be forth. a chihuahua. The chihuahua is the only dog I think that can do that. Chihuahua, chihuahua. Um, but yeah, so we had a we had a great time with Moki, man. He's really awesome, and uh, we're gonna go see him again on Monday. Fuck Even that. if we can't take him, we're going to still go back to that shelter and try and take a bunch of dogs for walks and dogs who just need to get out and get some exercise. Like there's a pit bull mastiff mix there named blue and she's 112 pounds and she's about 30 pounds overweight. So she needs a good hike. She needs, she needs a dude who just wants to work out all the time. That's awesome. Yeah. But so there's, there's so many good dogs there. Uh, if you're looking for a dog for a single dog home, not with two dogs, a lot of them, most of the dogs there are single dog homes. So. I, I just don't know that I have it in me to bring the dog back. How um, hard was it to drop Moki off? He got out of the car. He was chilling. How hard was it for you? I mean? Oh, it was a bummer. I didn't want to bring him back. I just wanted to keep him in the car. That's and just the thing. Drive like, off into the sunset. What a fuck. I just don't know. But also, I got kind of jealous because I was driving the car most of the day and Amon got all the cuddles in the back with the dog. And I was like, God damn it. Like... That's what I wanted. What are we doing here? And so it was, but it was nice. She was, well, hopefully you'll be able uh, to spend the weekend and then Moki will be able to mm -hmm. hang at the house and you can get tons of cuddles. We'll see. I want to see what he's like in a home. But again, we have to see if Milo can even coexist with him. Yeah. And if All he right. can, we'll try it. We'll okay. figure it out. Yeah. I'm pretty excited. What else you got? Um, I saw this thing online. Um, about did you see this thing online about this dying what dying wife's last wish? Her so this guy posted on Reddit and he said, "Hey, my I, I don't know who else to console or who else to talk about. What can I do? My di my wife was just given a diagnosis that she has nine months left to live, and her last and dying wish is to have sex with her ex one last time because she thinks this is she said that that's her most compatible partner in bed, and he says, "What do I do? Have you heard mm. that?" Okay, right away, my instinct is, yeah, dude, I, I absolutely would let her. Now, I can't. But I, she pretty I, much she pretty much said, "Hey, I want to have sex with my ex one more time because he's better in bed than you are." Yep, yep, yeah, yeah. I to her husband. Yep. Uh, here's what I would say to her. I would say that's a hundred percent okay. 
but I can't guarantee you how I'm going to react. Yep. I, I And I think you have to do what is best. For, you have a certain amount of time left. That's totally good. But then I can't guarantee how this rest of the time is going to be for us. Right, right. Or how I'm going to remember you or any of that stuff because I, it hasn't happened. But this is your one ride on this rock. Right. And I would say if this is something you feel like you need to do, but don't ask me for permission. This you're you're copping out. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's a cop out. You asking me for permission. I understand. If, that. if that's something you want to do, you th this is your one life. You should go do it. But you may be spending the next nine months by yourself. That is fair. Yeah, I, I guess I'm kind of in the same boat. I just thought it was crazy. Like it's a crazy ask. It is a ridiculous ask. Like, are you for real? Are you for real? Like that. That for me, it's like, why is that even the thought that comes to mind? That's your first thought? Honestly, nine months to live, just go do it and don't tell me. Yeah, fuck. Like, do you know what I'm saying? I guess. Nine months to live? Yeah. Just go do it. If I find out, you can. You will ride that from there. But what about this? What if it happens and then miracle of miracles? You have more than nine months left to live. Yeah, you You know, the cancer disappears. Yeah. You're, that's a whole different life. Where are you at with that? What, what would you, what would you do? I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of in the same boat as you, but also I feel like, I feel like my answer would be if you want to stay together, no. If you don't want to stay together, yes. Like you can go do it. But like you said, like, like how you said, you can't expect time to react because I'm probably going to leave. I, I, I so honestly, like you can do it if you want, but know what this is going to happen. If you don't do it, then know that this will happen. I think it's just more like an ultimatum or like a, like a, like, like a, this is what you give. And this is what you're going to get. I, I honestly, at different points in my life, I would have had different reactions. And so I, right now, if that happened with your mom, I love her. man. I would not. And if she needed that, I would still want to spend the last nine months with her. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I just would because, yo, that, that, that. It's just honestly at this point, it's just, at that point nine months in. It's just sex. Yeah. It's just I want this tasty ice cream one more time. Gross. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, if she was like, "Hey, I'm going," you know what? We decided to go away for a week. After that's a different situation. Right. But, but like, but I also feel like with nine months left to live, I'm not thinking about sex. I'm thinking about traveling the world. I'm thinking about getting the whatever experience that I can while I'm not bedridden for the last two weeks of my life. Yeah. 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 I mean, but, but maybe this dude's been dicked her down in such a crazy way. That's one of the last where she's just like, yeah, I want to see the Great Wall of China. That, that sounds like some And Pete, the Great Dick of David. Yeah, that sounds like some Pete <laughs> Davidson dick right there. Like, that's like Pete Davidson dick. That's, that dick is so good that literally women on their deathbed are like, you know what? That That's that's what I want my final meal to be. This fucking I don't dick. think that we've verified Pete Davidson has great dick. I'm pretty I, sure Kim Kardashian has verified he has a I think large you, dick. Verified that he has a big dick, but that's what I mean by Pete Davidson dick. Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's dicking anyone down. No, but there are girls who refer to themselves as size queens. Yeah, 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 hundred so, percent. But and, and by the way, Pete, I'm not. I have no idea what's happening. I, I, not only do I have no idea, don't, I don't need to know. Don't care. I, that's I, also fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for you. Bad for you. I don't. You know. You. You know. His starting nine rival. Have you ever seen? Well. His starting nine is, is pretty ridiculous. Like all star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's up there. It's, it's up there nuts with uh, Jeter. Yeah. Have you yeah. ever seen that? I don't know if starting, I know Jeter's nine, but I know. Have you ever seen? You ever seen that starting lineup where they put nine of Jeter's girlfriends at, in positions on the baseball field? It's hilarious. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> it's fucking crazy. That's so funny. Uh, but it made me laugh. It made me laugh. Mm -hmm. Yo, I, I, what do you think about that? And I'm, I'm this is old, old, old news. So, but I'm curious because you and I have never talked about it. You know, Jeter. The rumor is Jeter gave gift bags. You never heard that to his to the women he slept with. So you would sleep with Jeter, and he would have a gift bag for you on the way out, like a signed baseball and shit like that. That's. I, just, just, I mean, the size of an ego. Like is it that, ego? Is it not? I like, don't know. Here's a gift bag. Like, here's here's some, your here's NDA. Some... Sign the NDA on the way out. You get a gift bag. That seems like a nice parting gift. It's better than what other people give them, which is nothing. Or STDs. Well, you could, yeah. Or a black eye. 
What? I don't know. Chris Brown joke. It was bad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but like, I, I don't know. I know a lot of people bagged on him, but is it, is it, do you is, know, do is you, the gift bag better or worse than nothing? I guess better because if you really were down bad, you could sell the baseball or memorabilia for money. Yeah. But like, oh, do you want to hear a rumor that I heard once about a famous person? So there, uh, Justin Bieber. Heard of him? Uh, yeah, I think you have. Um, there was, you know, I went to Notre Dame High School, and there was just a lot of there were a lot of pretty wealthy kids who went to that school. Like, yep. I went to school with Sylvester Stallone's daughter. Yep, daughters, here, plural. So there were a lot of crazy house parties and a lot of crazy things like Project X style stuff. I went to a couple. I jumped off a roof into a pool. Wait, you what? Yeah, I jumped off a roof into a pool. Big roof. What? Tiny pool. Not a big pool. Not a not a big enough pool. Why did you do that? Because it was cool and it was fun. And somebody else did it first, so I made sure oh, it was safe. okay, okay. Yeah, I didn't do it first. I uh, saw like six or seven people do it, and I was like, I could do that. I can make it. So I did it. I'm so glad I didn't know that. <laughs> You're that, welcome. That's like, I, I uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't but, like um, that. But there was one time where Bieber showed up to a party. I wasn't there, unfortunately, or fortunately, whatever it was. Well, you're a Bieber fan now. You were not a Bieber fan. I am fan a new then. school Bieber fan. I don't really like his old music, but I like his new stuff. Yeah. Um, and so there was, there was a picture of a girl from my high school getting into his SUV from leaving a party. And it was one of the most popular girls in high school. I'm not going to say her name, but I, I remember her coming to school the next day and on that next Monday and everybody was asking her questions about like, what was it? What was it? What was he like? What was his house like? This and that. You want to know the one rumor that I heard that really stuck out to me that makes me laugh? Cannot wait. I, uh, somebody asked her, so what was his house like? And she goes, you know, it was, it was massive. It was really nice, but I thought it was really weird. He was playing all of his number one hits over the stereo all throughout the house. Fuck yeah. But just, just his number one hits on repeat. And she was like, yeah, eventually it just, it was a loop. Eventually you'd hear the same songs three or four times. And I was like that. Dude, if I was Justin Bieber, I would be listening to the Justin Bieber station when I brought girls over just in case they weren't quite sure who, who he was. Yeah. I'm oh, pretty sure they knew who he was. You know who that you know who that is on Pandora? That's me, baby. I'm pretty sure people knew who he was. Yeah, yeah. yeah and didn't yeah. need his Pandora radio <laughs> playing. <laughs> While I've he never, was trying to make a move on someone. I just feel like that's so crazy that you'd play your own music as your mood music. They're trying sex? to pick up women. Yeah. Is I, it weird or is it a power move? It is. I now that you say it out loud, I do think it's weird to put your song on to have sex to. That Unless seems you're weird. Jeremiah, and your Jeremiah has a song called "Birthday Sex." Can I tell you so, that I that, that Jeremiah was, Watkins? Shout out. Not it was oh. Jeremiah Watkins, but actually Jeremiah Watson. Don't forget Jeremiah Watson. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Can I tell you that I Watson I absolutely hate watching myself or listening to myself. It was like are you looking at yourself right now and you hate watching it or no, like, like just, doing my stand up. Oh, 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 fucking it drives me crazy. I'm like, is that what I sound like? Is that what I look like? Is that what I stand like? It, it, it the reason I listen because it's important to listen to your sets, right? But I don't watch anymore. That's why you don't watch yourself on TV. I don't because then I'm self conscious about mm -hmm. the things that I don't like about myself. I understand that. And then I'm always thinking about that when I'm on camera, right? Like, holy shit, am I doing that thing that I hate? Maybe. My, maybe. It's possible. Um, my, the Pilates teacher, Delphine, asked about you and when you were going to come in and do a class. I told her that you were scared. You can tell her whatever you want. Dude, are you ready? This week's, you couldn't have done this week's class. I don't think I could have done anything with how my stomach felt. Yeah, but. yeah. I mean, if you shit yourself, excuse me, in the Pilates studio, that would be amazing. If you left a mess on the on the reformer, yeah, it would be a bummer. If for who? Everybody. Not me. You'd still have to smell it. It'd be a bummer. I don't mind smelling it as long as I can get on video. Mm, yeah, I think we'll, you'll be saying something different whenever it happens. Nah, dude. You don't think I've smelled poop before? What if it's on you? It wouldn't be on me. We don't share a reformer. We think we're riding tandem on a moped. Yeah, but if it's like what I think it would have... If, if it's like what it was this morning, I could just point and aim. We're side to side, though, dude. Your, right. butt, your butthole's facing basically away from me. I'm just pointing my butthole That's at you. That's not how it it's works. It's like a cannon on a pirate ship. What? <laughs> <laughs> you get, yeah, you're going to Pirates of the Caribbean me? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Which one of those is your favorite? Oh, that one's hard. The first one's really good. I really like Dead Man's Chest. 
Is that the um, second one? Yes. The Thump Thump, where he has yeah, the yeah, Thump yeah. Thump in the, in the jar of sand. Yeah. I like that one a lot. Um, I saw the last one. Oh, what is it? Dead Man Tells No Tales? I, I don't mind that one. Is that seven? No, it's. I think there's six of them. Uh-huh. Or five. We've had this argument before or discussion. I, I go, but I'm I go, OG, by the way. I'm Dead Man's Chest. I like the second one. I like first one. I like first one. I, I like first one. I like his entrance in the first one where the ship is sinking. Yeah. And he's just riding the top and of it. And he just as walks he, right off. onto the dock. That to me is yeah. one of the best entrances in any movie ever. I just, he, there's, a, there's just a moment in every movie where there's just a Captain Jack moment where you're like, this man is. Outstanding. Or that one where he gets like stuck in between the world of death and like in between like the afterworld and real life, right? And he's just on that beach, but all of those rocks are just like moving crabs. And yeah. They're, and they're moving the like the black pearl over, and you just see him fucking running over the hill. Yeah. It's, oh. <laughs> it's, it's just it's so good. Yeah. It's so good. I, I, you know what, man? I'm I'm I love watching him on film. I absolutely yeah, love it, dude. I I I, I um. I don't love listening to him talk in real life. You see, I don't, I don't like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I'm with you. I just, sometimes like, uh, I feel like, um, like there's, he takes some, like, I don't know how to explain it. But I can tell because you really are struggling to get some words. When out. I tell, sometimes when I listen to him talk, I'm like, "Nah, I love you in the movies. I just don't like you." Talking. I like your characters, but I don't like your regular speaking voice. I don't mind his voice. I just don't. I don't know. I don't know something. Sometimes I'm not. I don't love. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't sound like you're really my, love it. My hair is so crazy. Yeah, because you probably cut it with your hat on. I haven't. I need to. My hair right now is a. Atomic mess. Yeah, I need to go get my haircut too. Are, are, you going to, are we going to LA anytime soon? Um, we were thinking about going next week, but that's probably not going to happen. That's not going to happen. We could, dude. No, because whenever we're in LA next, I'm going to go visit Marisa and get my haircut. Get your haircut. I met a guy at uh, at uh, the studio mom goes to. His name's Butch. Um, and he does hair. So he does do uh, hair. So maybe, but also, I don't know. Dude, you heard about the, the Blind Side family? Yeah, with Michael Orr. Oh my god. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to reserve judgment because the news has really only been reporting Michael Orr's side. Right. Because it's the most inflammatory and the funnest side to report on, I'm oh, sure. Right. But what I do want to talk about, have you seen the people on Twitter asking Sandra Bullock to give her fucking Oscar back? That's a that's dumb. Hey, you fucks. Even if even if it wasn't real and it was made up, she still did great. She's an, an actress. Yeah, she has nothing to do with this. Like, but you know, she it, was she was she was playing a role, and that was her job. She did her job. Like, what they and if it's true, what this family did in the real world instead of the movie world does not directly affect the woman and the man or anybody who portrayed the others in that film. Like at all, they're not directly correlated. I haven't even heard that, but that's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard ever. But 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 it it goes into this whole um, it, it, it's part of cancel the new cancel yep. culture for me every little thing and, and, and I gotta tell you something guys as somebody who I would generally consider myself to be an ally for people's rights yeah in general I, I would say that but that encompasses everybody that even encompasses the people who I don't agree with I I I am a fan of people's rights and and so what happens is when you when when the cancel culture gets ridiculous, like on something like this, like the, they took away Mr. Potato Head, and it's just Potato Head, right? When it gets ridiculous, what happens is, is that you, you, you kill the, you make the important stuff less important. Yeah. It's so fucking dumb, you soft motherfuckers. And some things just don't jive with you or some things yeah. that you might not agree with. That's what the fuck life is. Yeah. But everything that you don't like and everything that you disagree with can't be canceled. You pussies. Yeah. It is so fucking ridiculous. And here's what happens is, and then what happens is there are people who are right in the middle who are like, and that's why when you hear this fucking, I'm done with this can because the ridiculous shit seeps through to mainstream and you're like, what are we talking about right now? Yeah. What are we talking about? You, if you now you're talking to me about pe people's lives, like you're talking about rights for people, like trans rights. You know, people need rights to live 
equally in the United States. Yep. Period. But Mr. Potato Head should have kept his fucking mustache. Yeah. And Sandra He's Bullock like gets some to keep her fucking Oscar, yeah. you pussies. Yeah, I, that's really dumb. Like, whatever happens in... Look, every movie, whether it is based on a true story or it is an autobiography it's, or whatever, that movie, that realm is completely made up. The people in it are reenacting those who might have part partook in it Whenever the fuck it happened, par partaken, par partaken, partaken. Yeah. Par okay, whatever it has, whatever you know, it would repeat that. Whatever you yep, know what yep, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Like the people who are in that movie or film, or unless it's like a documentary and you're filming real time of the people that are really in it, and it's somebody and it's a movie where you are they are paying actors to recreate something that's happened either in historical time or something that was completely made up on a script. Like grow up. Dude, like, just, just, just grow the fuck up. Who? <sighs> the beautiful thing about know. this country, guys, is that we're allowed to have different opinions. Yo, yo when they years back, like, uh, like, remember that dude? You probably don't remember Milo, whatever the fuck his name was. What? But there was, there were people who consider themselves liberal or progressive on college campuses protesting people speaking on their campus. That is not what a college campus is for. A college campus is for free thought. Yo, you learn more about your side by listening to the other side. Right. You learn more because you get to hear why they think the way they, they think. think. You have to understand. You have to listen to other points of views. You fucking soft ass motherfuckers. It is so... Dude, I am for everybody's rights, dude. Every, yeah. not, even the person that I disagree with 100%, they have their rights also. Yeah, they have This their... is what this country is. As long as your rights, you don't feel like your rights are harming other people. But if I have a different point of view than you, and that triggers you to the point where you think I shouldn't be able to say it out loud, you're the one who should go back inside. Uh, yeah. You. Absolutely. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they, you can't be scared of other people's opinions. No, dude. You, that's they, no. That's they, how this. That's how this. That's why this country is so great because you don't have to be scared of other people's <laughs> opinions. But by the way, when you suppress other people's opinions, that's when they come back angry like that. Yeah, dude. Yeah. People want to feel like they have a fucking voice. Mm -hmm. And when you try to take away the voice, you take away something. One of the only things they have. Yeah. Yeah. Which is their their right to have a, an opinion. Right. Right. You know what's funny? My dad. My dad. He was like. Uh, because my dad's always considered himself liberal, but he doesn't consider himself this modern day liberal. Right. He's old school liberal, which is, hey, you get to live your life. I get to live my life. You're not hurting anybody. I'm not hurting anybody. You get to have your opinion. I get to have my opinion, period. That's it. By that, the way, the best way to live. Yeah, dude. It's just, just respecting other people and what they do in their daily life. You're, you're letting other people's thoughts control your emotions. That is a dangerous, yeah. easily manipulated place to be. Mm -hmm. When you are letting my opinion control your day, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? Hundred percent. Um. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, it good. just is so you, you crazy. You have an old. You have a rant every now and then. Yeah, and I'm also an old dude. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I and I um I would even say you and I. <sighs> have different sensibilities about some things where I'm like, what the fuck? Who cares? Uh, but, but you, and I, and there, look, man, I do like that your generation is more aware mm -hmm. of other people and other people's points of views mm -hmm. and stuff like that. A uh, uh, part of your generation. Yep. It, it to me was the best part of actually about, about living in California was black, white, gay, Asian, whatever it, in your high school, it didn't matter. Yeah. Everybody was just walking around together. Yep. So I, I I really did appreciate that about California. I didn't like the human feces on the sidewalk, but I liked a there lot. There was a lot of things I didn't like about LA. <laughs> that definitely being one of them. I lived on Hollywood Boulevard, so anytime I opened my window, it just smelled like shit. Also, I had a homeless encampment right across the street, so that didn't help. Dude, did you know that Sorry Not Sorry ice cream place is opening near our house? By the way, you mean the one right by me? Have you heard about that? Sorry yeah, but it, it's it's gonna be a minute. It's not gonna it's not opening soon. Well, it, that sign's been up for like six months. Yeah. 
Why have you driven in there? Oh, we've Googled it. It's not opening anytime soon. It it's, isn't? It's going to be a, a minute. It's probably going to be a couple months. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Rut row. There's a line around the block down in Vegas for that. Dude, that, so that donut store, though, finally opened up, that Gabby's Boutique. And? Really interesting. Why? The donuts are all like, they're all like what I would consider gourmet donuts. So you can't go in and get like a regular glazed or a regular like sugar. It's not like a regular donut. So they have like mochi based donuts. You know what mochi is? Like the frozen mochi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have mochi based donuts and there's like an ube flavor, which is fucking delicious. That's what I get. It's purple. Uh, there's like a mango, a strawberry, an espresso, a double chocolate. Like they have all those flavors. Then they have these like gourmet ones. There's like a there's like a tiramisu one. There's an ube filled one. There's like a milk tea. There's What's ube. Ube ube. You know what taro is? The purple thing. Yeah. Ube is like I think a root. If I'm correct, I don't know if that's right. Okay. But I think ube is like a root. Um, and there's like a tiramisu, a strawberry cheesecake. Like they make coffee. They have all these different like lemonades. Oh my god, it's fucking awesome. So oh, shit. Yeah, really enjoy it. You could go and get like a cool coffee from there. Or I don't think you'll like any of the donuts. The creme brulee donut though is nuts because it's like it's got like that hard caramel creme brulee on the yeah. outside of it. I made the best beef ribs last night, dude. I'm making steak tonight. Yo, I'm a, legit. We slow cooked at two fifty for like I think three hours and forty five minutes, something like that. Should have gone longer. Why? Just do it for like eight hours one day. See what happens. Yeah, but then I'm going to overcook them. Unless you drop the temperature. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess I could. I mean, eight hour, but like that means I got to get up in the morning and then put them in. The house is going to smell good for eight hours. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't mind that idea. Not a bad idea. I might do it. Do okay. It. I think it's steak tonight, though. I'm going back to Albertsons and getting that fucking Wagyu. Fuck yeah. I, and can't making, I think I'm going to make a couple pieces of it tonight because the last time I ate it, it disappeared too fast. And we're leaving tomorrow night. M yes. Night. Yes. Pretty excited about that. I'm going to try and win some more money before we leave. Yeah, dude. You were on a fucking <laughs> you were on a roll. I won 500 bucks out of the slot machines in the Vegas airport before we left. Yeah. I hit 300 on one, cashed out, went to another one, put 100 in it, or put 60 in it, and won two, 210. That and weekend, we left. The, the weekend started out nice for you. Yeah. And then I came back and my car got hit over the weekend. Yeah, that, that ended up not so nice. You know, I can't get in my front, right? My, my, oh, I, I saw you climb out the passenger uh, yeah, yeah. side door. It made me laugh. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty uh, big bummer. Um, Hoping to get a rental car, though. Hopefully, my insurance covers that. Uh, their insurance will. That's right. It doesn't have to be my insurance. It has to be his. That's right. Their insurance nice. will. Nice. Yeah. Um, so tell everybody what the deal is. We got to wrap this up. Um, Comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates and tickets. This weekend, when you hear this, we will be in Corpus Christi, Texas, August 18th and 19th. Uh, we're very excited. We're hopefully going to find some Taco Cabana. Hey, don't be afraid to bring us some queso. You know what I'm saying? Um, we Fuck had somebody yeah. do it last time we were in San Antonio. Someone dropped off some tortillas and some queso in the back. Fucking a All Taco Cabana gifts are welcome, by the way. But we're not near a Terry's Black, though, are we? No. Terry, Terry Black. Terry Black's Terry's Black. Terry, <laughs> Terry Black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, Joshua Comedy on all platforms uh, for like Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. Uh, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. It's Jake Wolf on TikTok. Youthful Wolf or twitch.tv slash Youthful Wolf uh, if you want to go follow me there. We're going to do a giveaway sometime next week. Um, after Corpus Christi, we have a week off. Woo! And then the week after that, the, starting the last day in August and the first couple days in September, we're here in Las Vegas at Kimball's Comedy Club. Um, Let me just say, guys, I, I read all your emails. Next week oh, is yeah. an email show. If you want to send in more emails and ask more questions, it's Hey Man with three A's, Hey Man Pod at gmail.com, yep. Hey Man Pod at gmail.com. But we're going to read those emails next week. Thank yeah, you very much for all of them. The ones that I can't answer, that we can't answer on here, I will answer um, over email. Okay. And uh, um, also next week, Jacob and I are going to be in town here. So email us some ideas for things that you might want us to shoot here in Vegas. Yeah. We might go to a pew pew range. Pew 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 pew. We pew, might pew, go to Speed pew, pew, Vegas pew, pew. and drive around on those. Oh, that might be fun too. Uh, but we can't, if you, if you can think of something else you'd like to see us do, uh, we might do some man on the street stuff down there on the strip. It's so hot. Still. Yeah, dude. Awesome. Um, but so we didn't want to do it because it was 103 last time. It's like 113 this time. Yeah, right? but that's better than 103. Um, and did you mention the Vegas date? I did yeah. mention the Vegas. Dates. And every Monday, guys, I am at, in Vegas at 730. 
um, at yes. Kimmel's Comedy Club. Also, this podcast brought to you by Best Day Brewing. Dude, hey, listen, man. If you are looking for something that tastes like beer but isn't beer, if you are, don't drink anymore like your boy, but you want to crack something cold open and sit in the backyard, it, this is the fucking thing to drink. I'm telling you right now. Also, the dude, Jim, who owns it, such a good dude, small business owner. He's not selling it to big biz. He's keeping it small. He's doing it right. Um, he is. And I, it's here's how I know he's doing it right. When he asked me, I was like, what else? What kind of things do you want me to post? He said, don't post anything if it's not organic. He just doesn't. He just wants it to feel like yeah, this enough. is what people do in their life. This is what people drink. This is. And I. I uh, my daughter, Caitlin, and I, neither one of us were drinking, so we both cracked one open. It was super cool to be able to do that with her. So, best day brewing, guys. I like the IPA. You tried uh, one in the dressing in dressing room? In the green room? Yeah, I'm a lager guy. It was it was pretty good. Yeah. So, check out best day brewing, everybody. Um, and you got anything else? Nope. I think that's it. All right. I'm excited for hot and sweaty Texas. Me too. Mainly man. just Taco Cabana. I'm I, I I'm I feel better on stage than I ever have in my life. Good. I am I I am so renewed energetically. I I attribute a lot of that to you being with me, but like I'm so renewed and excited again about stand up. Um, that I, 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 uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a place to shoot my special, everybody. Seattle. Uh, yeah, Seattle and Houston are the top. Yeah. We've talked about this. So I said it last time you're going to pay homage to where you started. Seattle. It is everybody. I got to find a spot, but, um, it makes it, sense. Makes no sense. Yeah. I agree with you. Um, all right. Where are we after Corpus Christi? We home. Man. Well, I mean Vegas, but then after Vegas, Denver. Oh, Denver, September 9th, I think is what it is. Seventh and eighth. Seventh and eighth. Oh, were there two nights? I thought it was one night. No, two nights. And then the next week, we're doing theaters in Chicago, Minneapolis, and one other place. Something else. I think Wisconsin. Michigan. Harris, Harris, Michigan. I'm going back to Michigan again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Up in the up, up. Up, up? Up in the up, up. Like the up, up. It's in the up, up. Yeah, I think Harris is in the up, up. It's going to be cold in the up, up? In September? uh, I mean, it's not going to be hot. Great. But, but, uh, yeah, by the way, are you excited to start? You know what? I do like start being able to wear different clothes. Yeah. I'm pretty excited. I can't, I, I just want to put a hoodie on. God damn it. I, just, I have to put it so cold in my house that I wear a hoodie. I want to wear my cardigan again. <laughs> you heard me. You don't like my cardigan. You like your cardigan. A lot. I have a bunch of cardigans. Mm -hmm. I love it. You don't like the oh, cardigans? I just bought so many. I just bought a different, a bunch of button ups yesterday that I can't wait to show you this weekend. What's a button up? A button up shirt. Like but a, like, but but you meaning button from the bottom or like a three button? No, like a button from the bottom, not a polo, but like yeah, like a like a like a all the way button up, like a cool shirt. Oh, like long sleeve or short sleeve? Short sleeve. Oh yeah, like the ones that I've been wearing. Yeah, but they're not the terry cloth ones. Oh, you dude. wear you wear it because like a towel, so you can soak up all your sweat. That's not why I wear it. I wear it because it's cool as fuck. Yeah, but also because it helps soak up your sweat. No, it actually doesn't feel good on the sweat. <laughs> It feel you know that material where it feels like just it's wet? like scratching. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but the ones I bought are silky smooth. So I got I got three new ones. I got an All Saints one. We went to the All Saints outlets yesterday. Down in the mm -hmm. and I got myself a cool but no. You know what I like that mm. the purple one you were wearing. But it, it, did you see that you you could really see your nipples through it? Yeah, that's why I try to wear a shirt underneath them. <laughs> but sometimes just that one, not all of them. Sometimes it's too hot. But the ones I bought, I almost bought a full leather button up and like red didn't look good. No, dude. There was one in black too. Also didn't look good. No, dude. Yeah. You, you what are you filming Eddie Murphy raw? Don't you don't know. wear a butt. Did you ever see the outfit Eddie Murphy wore in that? I mean, was it wasn't it the leather jacket, leather pants, and that leather uh what, what's that? It, he went leather leather. I think it was a one I might have been a one one piece. Might have been a onesie. Was onesie you don't remember. Was it was it a onesie? Top bottom? Yeah, the red, but, but I think maybe the free, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's beside the point. We've been here for our time. Yeah. So. Why, before, why are you shushing me? Well, we're, you're, you're going to go on a tangent, and then we'll be here for another 15 minutes. What, what do you mean? Why, why would you say that? What makes you say that that's what I would do? Are you saying I go on tangents? Why do you think my tangents last 15 minutes? Usually they're longer. What? Yeah. 
15 minutes, I go on 15 minute tangents. Sometimes you die. Or that little rant you had earlier took up like half the podcast, bro. That little rant, I kept it short. That was three minutes. It was like 30 minutes. Seven minutes tops. 30 minutes. Are you kidding? <laughs> It was like 30 minutes. Why are you looking at your make believe watch? I'm just saying it was like 30 minutes. It wasn't 30 minutes. It was like 30 minutes. Seven minutes. It was like 30. If it was more than seven minutes, I will give you $100. It was like 30 minutes. Do you want to bet? You know, I'm just saying it was like 30 minutes to anger you, right? Oh, what a dick. I don't even care how long it was. I'm just trying to make you angry. All right. Well, then... I guess we're done. Before we go on another 30 minute tangent, Josh Stop looking at your make believe watch. That bothers the fuck out of me. <laughs> Comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates and tickets. Um, also, uh, Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. Hey, look, it's half past a freckle. Uh, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. You're half past a freckle. Thank I don't you. know if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Youthful Wolf. And it's Jake Wolf on TikTok. We love you guys. Tell somebody you love them today. Do something nice for somebody. All we'll right, see everybody. you next week. Love you. Deuce.